Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Shogun Total War, where I'm playing as Clan Shimazu. And in the last episode, well, things were going so smoothly, weren't they? I mean, I bet that most of y'all were starting to think that I was just way too good at this game. Way too perfect, might I add. And then, well, I accepted Christianity. I went for it, I went full Christian, my daimyo has accepted Jesus into his life. And how did the people of the Shimazu clan uh, take that? Well, take a look, and you'll see that, uh, yeah, the red is the bad spots. Just in case you're just tuning in right now, this is this shows the public uh, order of my territories. The green is the good, these people are happy, the red is the bad, and the yellow is the in-between. So yellow means that um, they're kind of, so they are, if you look there, you see that they are above 100% on the population loyalty, but it's low. It's like 110, 115 in that range. Red means it's below 100. And when it's below 100, that means there's always going to be a chance of a revolution or a revolt in this province. Now, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed to happen, but the lower that loyalty becomes, the higher the chance of a revolution happening. Now, this all went down exactly two turns ago, which is when I started building these churches. I have three under construction uh, at this moment. So, it takes t three turns for these to be built, and I'm two turns in. I was lucky in last turn to not have any revolts. However, uh, two turns ago, I did have two. I had one here in Bichu, and I had one here in Tajima. And again, I was rather lucky in the sense that um, I had armies or I had troops available right next to these provinces that were able to come in and secure these locations before the rebels were able to take hold of my provinces and essentially destroy anything. Um, so I have a bit of work on my hands. I, <laughs> As much as I would like to continue pushing forward and taking some more provinces, I think I have to concentrate a little bit on this. Um, I've taken a look at this before I started recording, and I just think that for the time being, things are bad, don't get me wrong, but I've made as many moves as I can to help this as I can for the moment. So if we look at Key, for example, 89%, it's not good, but these Shinobi and these troops here, are not being taken into account in that population loyalty because they have just been moved into this province during this turn. I believe this was something I did um, uh, during the last video. And uh, again, here in Iga, 99%. That's almost there. And I've moved these new troops, and I can tell they've just been moved because they're still in this standing stance. When they're in a prone stance or, or kneeling stance, they've been, um, that means they've been hanging out there for a turn. So I know that these soldiers, their effect isn't being um, taken upon this population loyalty. So Iga's probably going to be fine. Ki, with these soldiers and these two shinobi, will probably be, be fine. Harima, same thing. These have been moved into this province uh, during this turn. So 95% with 120 soldiers moved into the province. Hopefully that'll be fine. I, I think that might be okay. Uh, let's see. Moving on to Bison, 96%. Again, these have both been moved during this turn, so that they are not counting towards that. So that should be fine. Again. Now we got Hokey. Hokey is not fine. 72% scares me. However, again, this is not being counted. This Shinobi is not being counted. And this army is not being counted. However, calling this an army is being a little uh, too nice to it. This is the army that fought in Bichu against two full strength units of warrior monks. So they're pretty battered. I mean, let's see if I just merge it all together. Uh, what do I got here? Looking at 112 soldiers, so that's less than two full units. Um, yeah, that's probably not fine. That scares me. And I'm thinking, since Inaba is 106%, again, not great. And if I move this Shinobi from, from Inaba, I'm guessing that that will go below 100%. However, 
That's what I'm thinking of doing there. 72% is really low. Let's see. Izumo. Yeah, I want to keep these both here. He's not being counted because he was just moved this turn. And then Aki, 96%. Um, two Shinobis that were moved into it this turn. That's good. That should be fine. Now, everything is looking uh, as okay as it can be down here in uh, the Shikoku Island. And then here in Kyushu, everything again is... Okay, 102% is probably my lowest in this area, but you know, I have this unit and the shinobi here, so hopefully that works. I have just enough Koku in my treasury to produce one shinobi during this turn and one shinobi during autumn. And that'll be it for this year's treasury. That'll tap me out. Oh, and just on, uh, just talking about the treasury. So one effect that uh, having revolutions has on my treasury is that these provinces that had their revolutions in them will not be contributing uh, any money towards my treasury during this harvest. Uh, in the case of Tajima, that's not so bad because the income is uh, so low. Oh, actually, I forgot that I have a port here. Dang. Okay, so actually, no, that's 295 Koku that I will not be getting this turn. That sucks. And then Bichu, um, 314. So that's, that's kind of a tough one. So yeah, that's a decent hit to my treasury, actually. Um, even though those uh, rebellions didn't accomplish anything, really, in regards to taking a territory, just by them happening in the first place, because they are essentially coming up from, what, the farmers, right? The people, my people, are uh, rebelling against my rule, and, well, and against my god, that is, and choose, they're choosing not to work the farms, and they're choosing not to create um, a harvest for me to support my soldiers with, so... That's why that's happening, even though they didn't accomplish anything uh, militarily. Alright, so I think... I think... That's it. That's all I can do regarding... Um, public loyalty for this turn. However, that's not all of my issues. I also have my heir holding Wakasa up here against... Um, essentially three provinces of Oda troops and I did deal a massive blow to Lord Oda last turn uh, I was able to t I, I was almost um took 700 soldiers from him and I lost 70 of my own so I was able to have a really good victory however I just I don't want to count on that happening again now honestly his troops again are not looking great it's a lot of Ashigaru a lot of archers, however, I did find that I have a nice little forest in the back. Um, as I've said multiple times, I, did, I do not like defending Wakasa. However, that forest was okay. It did its job. I didn't have a hill. In fact, in some ways, it seemed like I was kind of downhill, which is, you know, scary, but it did its job. And if they're going to bring a bunch of archers against me, well... That's going to be a little tricky for them. And uh, horses as well. They're not going to fight well in the forest as well. So I might be able to hold. I did bring in this unit of Yari Samurai. Because that was one of the weaknesses that I found in this army. Was that I, all I had was Ashigaru for my spearmen. So I brought in a unit of Yari, uh, Yari Samurai. Some professional uh, spear soldiers. To help hold the line of Mikasa. And the question is... Do I want to bring more? Because... Probably don't want to keep anything... I probably don't want to bring anything from Yamashiro. But how about Tamba? Now Tamba's... <laughs> that's on the cusp. 100% uh, population loyalty. That means... I think if I bring anything from it... Then it's gonna go down. I mean I've already... So I've already brought this one unit over... But can I afford to bring any other soldiers? You see, the population loyalty is based on the amount of men in the garrison, basically. How many men are actually garrison, garrisoning the uh, province themselves? So, yes, I want this unit of 60 Yari Samurai and bring them over to Wakasa. But by the looks of it, they might be the thing that's actually keeping Tamba from from staying over. However, then again, the Shinobi will also help over time, so... 
I don't know. Actually, oh, now that I think of it, now that I think of it, they've just been moved over. They're still standing. Or no, they are standing. So yeah, so they've just been moved over during this this turn that is, uh, starting from last video. So that's not being taken into account. So that means they might be okay. I'm going to bring them over. I'm going to use these two soldiers to help support because I really don't want my son to die uh, defending this this godforsaken uh, province in Wakasa. If I take a look at my heirs tab, my next oldest son is 10 years old and so he's going to be a while. That's six years before he's of age to lead an army. Uh, four turns per year, so I'm looking at 24 turns before I'm able to have another son that can potentially become my daimyo if he dies. So this fellow here, uh, Shimazu Yoshimoto, I'd really uh, like him to stay alive. Also, he's a good general. He's four stars. He's worked his way up. He's fought well for me. So I'd really not, uh, I really don't want this guy to die. So I'm going to go with uh, bringing these soldiers over. Hopefully they can help fight it out in there. Uh, I think that's it for moves during this turn. I am producing Shinobi. I should probably keep this guy on the move just in case uh, there's any assassins hunting him. I would really like to attack Isa, but I just, you know, if I took everything from Ki, Yamato, and Iga, I'd have a chance. But this just isn't the right time for it. It's, uh, yeah. I am building a castle. Oh, but I don't have enough money to build a castle. Yeah, that's right. That's... Shoot. So, yeah, hopefully they don't attack me at Yamato. That would be tough. I, I would probably have to retreat from that if they attacked me. Which makes me wonder, maybe I should just... Maybe I should send a cheeky little, um... Just a cheeky little poke. Where is he? Okay. Just to... Just to kind of keep them here. <coughs> yeah, this way maybe I can kind of keep them uh, defending instead of attacking. And other than that... Hmm... They should be fine. Yeah, they should be fine. This castle's gonna fall uh, in two turns, so that should be fine. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm really nervous to press the end turn. Everything is still looking. Um, looks like looking like there hasn't been any moves here in the north. Everything's looking pretty similar to what was going on. And let's see. Anything of note here in the diplomacy tab? No, doesn't look like it. So this is how you can tell that my clan, uh, my clan has turned Christian. I have the little cross here, because that's how you tell people you're Christian is that you wear the thing that killed your your god. Uh, so, all right, let's uh, let's press enter. And cross my fingers. Okay. Finish building the church. Okay, so that's gonna help slowly converting my populace to Christianity. And yes, call off the attack. And it's, oh, so it's only 482. So I think they must be attacking somewhere else. I wonder, are they attacking Owari? They did look a little damaged to me. So I wonder if they're fighting Lord Oda for the Owari province. Because they have a lot more than 482 soldiers in Nisa. Or they, they had. So, I will call that off for sure. Let's see, Oda Clan has the most loyal population in all Japan. No other daimyo has such fanatical support from his people. That uh, doesn't really mean anything. They probably are loyal because there's like so few of them left. Alright, and the castle, uh, the castle in Iga province is about to fall. So just one more turn. And no rebellions. Holy moly. That is some good news. Alright, so that's two turns in a row. No rebellions. Um, my, my churches have finished being built, so that means that um, I can start producing Jesuit priests. 
I'm not going to do that this turn because I barely have enough money. They're really cheap. They only cost 50 Koku to produce. But these are going to be sent... Um, I'm just going to be sending these guys around. They help convert uh, my populace to Christianity. And that's going to slowly, over time, uh, help my population loyalty uh, slowly improve. So, alright. Let's see. Just take a look here. 97%. Uh, 77%. So that's really bad. 67 is really bad. 86, 71, 51. Okay, so we're not out of the, we're not out of this yet. There's still uh, still some work to be done. Um, let's see. So starting with, what was the really bad one? 67, 51. That's the really bad one. Okay. Whew, that's a, that's that's bad. <laughs> um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. I need a lot to improve that. And I'm tempted to... I'm tempted to bring over... I know I like to keep these shinobi protecting my my heir at all costs, at all times. I like to have four, four shinobi protecting them from assassins. But in this case, I might need these guys to spend a quick turn over in Tajima to... To help calm that down, um, four and f five even, if I include this guy, might be able to turn that province around in simply one turn. And then, let's see, if we take a look at something else, um, 99 is really close, that should be fine. 71, 86. 71... So the only thing I can do with Inaba is bring these guys over. That's all I can do. Uh, with Mimasaka, I have a few options. And Bichu, Bingo, there's options over here with things I can move over. So what are we looking at? 86, 67. So this is another tough one. I probably am going to do that. And just, yeah, bring over three Shinobi. 86, let's see. 77, 86. So I can do that. Hopefully that one so one uh one unit will help out. Okay. So 97's not bad. That's probably going to be fine if I just bring him over and if I do this 77 is fine and just to make sure this is fine I should probably I'll probably bring um, yeah some more soldiers over and let's see I'll bring him down Alright, so then we're just left with Tajima. And let's see, I think what I will do, so this is 99, so yeah, one shinobi will be fine. And yeah, just do I'll just do all five shinobi, bring them over, and hopefully there's no uh hopefully there's no ninjas just hanging out waiting to uh cap my dude. Um and then do I even want to bring some soldiers over? I mean yeah, why not? So, let's see, do that. And then, yeah, just do everything I can to keep this settled down. Now, this is autumn, so typically this would be time for me to crank up those taxes and try to try to get some money, but if I do that, I'll just show you what this looks like. <laughs> that's so yeah I'm not gonna do that <laughs> that's um that's a death sentence for the Shimazu Empire so let's do very low at least there it looks a little less scary I do have one more uh, shinobi here in Bongo and let's see I can move them anywhere that has a port in it so what do I want to do what do I want to do with this guy 
think, um, yeah, Kawachi. Wait, no? Oh yeah, I guess I don't have a port there. But I have a port here in Awaji, so that's fine. Alright, so I'll be able to produce one more Shinobi. That'll be fine. That'll do for for now. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I can keep him... I can keep my emissary on the move. And, yeah, starting next turn, I'll have a new harvest. I'll start be able to start building some Jesuit priests and spreading that good old sweet Christianity. I do believe I have... Do I have, um, so I have a church here, church here. That's probably enough for this island. That, that'll help spread to neighboring provinces. And then I also have a church here in Tosa. That's probably enough for this whole island here. And then I'm building a large castle here in Miyamasaka, just because that's going to help out in this wide area with spreading Christianity. And did I want to build a church here? Maybe. Um, that is an idea, but I still have to build a large castle here first. Uh, anyway, that's just all going to be coming later. Um, for the time being, I think I still just mainly want troops and soldiers so I can finish up um, with these last few provinces. I'm curious. So it does. So yeah, it looks like this army. Yeah, they're looking pretty banged up, right? None of them are at 60, uh, 60 men. So they must have attacked Awari province and got pushed back. Actually, let me just check on that real quick. So, Isa, Awari, yeah, Awari is still in order control, so, yeah, they attacked and they were pushed back, and that's a good thing for me, but there is still two four-star generals left, one being this archer, and one being this, um, warrior monk, and those scare the hell out of me. Oh, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough battle. Alright, um, moving on, and still crossing fingers. I'm just gonna triple check my taxes, making sure they're low. All right, here we go. All right, I finished building the large castle in Mimasaka. All right, and the castle in Iga province has fallen to my troops. That's good. I had an average harvest. I'll take it. 6,453 Koku in my treasury. I will take it. And no new revolutions, and dare I say things might be looking a little bit okay now. Um, 80% a little not okay, 82 a little bit not okay, 98, that's, that'll fine, that'll be fine. Um, whew, all right, that's, that's, uh, that, it's looking okay. <laughs> that's, that's looking a lot better. Um, I can start building this church here in Mimasaka, that I can do. And while I'm at it, before I forget, let's start getting these priests going. And let's see, do I'll have a priest here? Uh, nope, I'll have a priest. And I'll have a priest in Heisen as well. And so the problem with producing priests in these provinces is that they are already, um, these are already my troop producing provinces. I like to have Nodachi being produced in Tosa. I like to produce Nodachi in Satsuma. I like to produce uh, spears and cavalry in Heisen. It's just that I already had large castles being built in these provinces, so that's why I went straight for the castle. In the future, going forward, it'll be, it'll be a lot better for me to produce uh, churches in provinces where I'm not producing soldiers. That way, I don't have to take up a turn producing a priest instead of a soldier or a unit of soldiers. So yeah, going forward, I'll have to keep that in mind. That's why Mimasaka is a good location for me. I don't intend on building anything here, just priests. Um, so yeah, with that in mind, I should probably start building a large castle in some of these other provinces where I don't intend on building uh, soldiers. However, before I forget, I do want to build a tea house here in Tajima. I'd like to build shinobi here. This would have been helpful a couple turns ago. The shinobi that are produced in Tajima have a bonus to their honor. So this is where I like, where I like to produce them. Let's see, we're looking at 80%. That's, that's okay, I think. Um, 
Yeah, I'll bring them and I'll just bring th three shinobi over to Wakasa. And let's see, how are we looking? Alright, take care of this before I forget. Um, that should be fine ish. 116, 106, so I can just do that. 98, I can do that. And 82. Actually, I'll sp split these up. Let's see, two shinobi and a few soldiers. Will that be enough for eighty percent? I think so. Um, actually, I'll bring this guy over as well. And let's see, Tosa. Hmm. I may as well start bringing this guy down. Maybe he can help out in Tosa. And... So you can bring him over. And how is this going to be? Is this going to be okay? In any case, I can start moving these guys around. And... 116, 116... All right, that hopefully will be fine. <laughs> I'm still, I'm actually sweating. Like this is making me nervous. All right, um, what else do I want to build? Okay, so Yamashiro is a good place to build soldiers. Uh, every anything produced here gets a plus one to its honor bonus, uh, and that's anything, any agent, any soldier. That's the beauty of owning uh, Yamashiro Province is that it's you can make really good soldiers here. What I like to do is produce Yari Samurai in Yamashiro because there are no provinces in Japan that give an honor bonus to Yari Samurai. For any other unit in the game, you can have an honor bonus. You can find a province that will give that unit an honor bonus, but not Yari Samurai. So I'll just do Spear Dojo and I'll do that. It'll be nice to also have that just because I, I don't have all of my troop, troop production facilities are here in the back. So I don't have anything here in my forward territory. So... It'll be nice to get some soldiers, um, some new fresh soldiers up here. And let's see, this is looking okay. I'm actually surprised that Oda hasn't attacked yet, but I'm actually a little bit comfortable with what I have here now. And now I just need to think about, let's see, I do want to build castle in Yamato, yes, Iga. Yes, and I have a castle and key already. All right, so now I have a little I have a little bit of time where I'm building castles in Yamato and Iga, and I can start thinking about eventually. So I need to take Isa eventually, and. They are getting kind of banged up by attacking Awari, and it looks like 491 versus their 580. So they outnumber me by 100, but I have other soldiers in the area that I could bring down. And, hmm, it's just so many archers. I just, a lot of archers, basically just two warrior monk units. But if I wait, they might build up more. But I definitely need, yeah, I just definitely need more soldiers. I mean, quite frank frankly, I have two. My spearmen in this area are just Ashigaru. And I do, okay, so I do have a couple decent. I have one decent spearman there. And yeah, these are just Ashigaru as well. So yeah, I just don't have enough good, good quality spearmen to push this. Um, these Ashigaru are going to get shot to pieces by those archers, and same with the Nodachi Samurai. They're just going to get shot to pieces. Um, I do have some cavalry units that can help run down archers, but I don't think two units is enough, to be honest. Yeah, so... I'm going to build up at least a couple more units of Yari Samurai before I can push on that but let's see, in the meantime 
so I'm building priests in all of those territories. Um, what I can do is I can build some archers here. Can I build archers here? No, I can't. All right, let me just check to see what provinces I can build units in. Um, yep, so I can build archers in Aki. And that's it. All right. All right, so I'm building a few churches, a few units, a few castles. Uh, again, I'm not really keeping track of my budget right now, so I don't know how much is left after all that, so I'm just going to call it there for now. Um, again, I think that things are being put under control as regards to population loyalty and all that, so just got to keep crossing my fingers. I do want to keep producing Shinobi here, so keep that going. Um... And yeah, all right, let's see, let's see how it goes. All right, so I finished building the port in Seoul. And Iwami, that's good, that's more money. Yes, more money. Hey, there we go. All right, they keep attacking Iwari. That's really good for me, actually. That's really helpful. That's, um, that's another, jeez. I mean, they're, and they're losing a lot of men, and I keep, think they keep losing, right? That's, did they lose that? Okay, so I think they... He didn't die, but I think that general... The general used to be their four-star warrior monk unit. But he lost enough battles in Awari to lose a command star. So now the general is this four-star archer unit. Which isn't the worst thing in the world for them. I mean, having a four-star general still matters, no matter whether he's an archer or a warrior monk. But, hey, you know, give it a few more turns and maybe they'll just... Maybe these guys will start dying in battle in Awari. Just gonna double check and make sure. Yeah, so they haven't taken Awari yet. That's good. Uh, let's see, Tajima still needs some help. So, let's help him. Yeah, let's just give him everything we have at this point. <laughs> just don't want any trouble. Um, let's see. Any other issues? It's looking okay, kind of. Um, I can start moving my priests about. Spreading, spreading the good word of God. And put him there, put him there. And I'll just start moving my... just want to make sure that I keep covering my bases in regards to the population loyalty. Alright, that should be fine. 71% uh, should be okay. We're looking at 119, that's okay. Um, Alright. So I still have some money to spend. I think that... Let's see, let me just move these troops around. Mm, yeah, I'll bring these guys up here and I'll also bring these guys up here and let's see so I do uh, want to keep building ports I think that's really important so let's see I do it'll be nice to have some ports on my front lines so I'll have one in key being built and let's see where else do I want ports um here in Kawachi as well so That'll be good. And as far as that goes, I think, so I'm building a church here, yes I am. And I think I should really keep pushing my church production. Um, because once I have eight churches, I can build a cathedral and then I can start making money off of my churches. So I think I should really push that and try to get that, so. Let's do a large castle in Awami, and then I can build a church here. I don't intend on building any soldiers here in Awami, so that'd be fine. Um, and then, let's see, I want spearmen. So, build a spearman here in Tosa, and a spearman here in Heisen. And, let's see, I'll just keep building... I'll keep training uh, some priests here in Satsuma for now.
All right, that should be it for spending for this turn. I think everything's still just looking okay. These just are one turn away from castles being built here. One turn away from having a spear dojo here. That should be fine. And all right, and maybe, yeah, we'll see. Maybe this rebel army keeps attacking Awari. And if that happens, they might start losing some guys. So fingers crossed. Let's see if that works. Um, Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens in regards to that. Let's see. Anything else to keep an eye on? Alright, end turn. Alright, so I have the tea house in Tajima. And the spear dojo in Yamashiro. And got a couple castles that are built. That's good. Oh man, okay. So, a ninja finally caught up to my emissary. And that's a bummer too because I got a couple um, shinobi in the area. But we'll see. Maybe he survives this. We'll see what happens. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yes. Got him. Sweet. <laughs> Good job. Anyway, you didn't get any honor off of that. Dang. So usually um, they'll gain some honor if they defend themselves against a assassination attempt. So, oh well. Next time, eh? All right, how are we looking? Things are okay. Still, they're looking okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm breathing a lot easier now. I'll tell you what. So we'll keep moving these guys up. Yeah, everything's looking okay here. Everything's looking fine. Uh, how are we looking over here? Yeah, so I'm just going to start creeping these uh, priests across my lands. I'm just going to kind of slowly move them turn by turn. I'm not trying to get them anywhere quickly. Uh, they can just they can move slowly. Slowly, turn by turn, spreading their influence, um, spreading the good word around, around my territory. So, let's see. I did the same thing with him. Oops. 92. That should be f fine. Alright, now the question is, I think, do I still need these armies in these back territories? I think I have enough shinobi back here and things are starting to settle down a little bit. So, it'll be nice to start getting these soldiers up to my front lines to, uh, to help out. So... Yeah, maybe I can start getting these guys um, in places where they can help fight. Can I move him over? Yes, got some ports. And I'll do the same thing with him. Move him with my port to Awaji. And then, uh, yeah, they can help building out here. And here, I can start building some Yari Samurai. Got that good old juicy plus one honor bonus. That'll help fill out this army here. And let's see, him. Uh... Not too useful. 25 men isn't a lot. But, oh well. Alright, so now... Got... So I want to make sure there's always four shinobi around my air. That means these guys can be moved down here. I'd like to have two around my daimyo at least. And, uh, and while we're at it, I can kind of keep two around my other... So yeah, I don't have a lot of good generals other than my daimyo and my heir. Other than that, I think I just have three-star generals. Um, this guy, if I remember correctly, is the general who fought the warrior monk army in Bichu province. So kind of rooting for him. He did a really good job for me. I read my Yoshimoto. You are a hero of the people, good sir. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rooting for you. Hopefully you do well and uh, rise in the ranks, stay alive and all that good stuff. And on that topic, also, we have a two-star general here is the uh, Yari Cavalry Commander, uh, Shoni uh, Toki Tokinao. And, yeah, so these are looking like my two second, or my two um, right-hand man. I also have this guy, this uh, Ijuin Shigetoki, Samurai Archer General. So, yeah, 
these guys are looking, it's one of these three, it'll be my, I need three armies essentially. I need three armies to help push into northern Japan, and it's probably going to be one of those three generals leading the charge. I already told you I'm rooting for this guy right here, he's my, uh, he's my favorite, he's my champion, so let's see how that goes. And let's see, so moving on, I think I want to keep, just for now, I want to keep producing those priests there. And I still want some spearmen. I know I've already produced a few, but I still want a few more spearmen. Do that, do that, and I already did this. Yes, I did. All right. So I'm wondering, so I still have quite a bit of money to spend and I'm thinking I don't want to be, I don't want to be too conservative, so what shall I spend it on? More ports, ports are always good. I can build, um, so since Bitchu it was already making uh, 314, so it's only, in my opinion, it's only worth building farm upgrades in provinces that already produce a substantial amount of koku. So building, spending that money, for example, on a province that only produces 120 farm income is, uh, it's going to take way too long to get a CA return on that investment. So I only like to spend that uh, farm investments on provinces that are worth it. Bitchu, in my opinion, is worth it. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent spend. It's a really cheap. 250 for the initial 20% uh, increase is a good spend, in my opinion. So yeah, do that. I don't do a lot of uh, farm income improvements. I did it here on these three provinces because these are good farm income provinces. I believe I did it here in Chinooki. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, let's definitely do it here in Chinooki or Sanuki. Yeah, 380 is good. Um, Kawachi, I already got it. It's producing 604 Koku for me, so that's really good. Is there anything else here really worth producing? That might be. 270 is okay. Uh. Yeah, Yamashiro definitely. Let's get some farm income. Improved uh, farmlands here in Yamashiro. And I think that's it. I don't think any of these other places really produce a lot. 200's okay, but it's not really, not really good enough. Not really what I'm looking for. Let's see. All right. So am I producing? Hmm. Yeah. Why not? Get some more shinobi, more archers. And that should be good for ending the turn here. Nope, oh, didn't have enough money for all that. Bummer. And let's see, it looks like I finished building the church in Mimasaka. That's good news. All right, and there's still, oh, this, <laughs> this is just, this is good. I should probably take this now. And I think I have enough time left in this episode to do so. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, because they, they still keep losing this battles in Owari, so they just have this banged up force right here. They still have the four star general, which is okay. Um, this guy must have just died because he's there's no longer any stars left on this guy. Um, negative two stars on this one, so he's going down in rank as far as being a general, but that doesn't matter so much. It's just, it's all about this guy right here. But yeah, I have enough time. I think I'm going to go for this and let's see. So I still have some problems back here, you know, nothing can be easy, right? So I'll just split these guys up evenly. At least I have enough shinobi in the area to deal with that. And there we go. Yes. Yeah, I just want to double check, I think. So I kind of forgot to... um. Yeah, I forgot to set a timer for this episode, so I'm kind of going off of memory of when I started, so I think I have enough time. If we go a little over, that's, um, I, I think that's okay. 
I would like to get a battle in, and I think that's very takeable at this moment, so let's do it. Um, let's make sure everything else is okay. 81 is a little dicey, so... Hmm. Still, uh, still making me nervous around here. It's still... These things are still not easy. So, let's see. 92... 97... Alright. Keep moving these guys up. Bring the spearman up. <clears throat> Oh, there we go, and I forgot that I had an armory here in Nagato, so any of these units here that have these um, these bronze shields down here have plus one to the armor, that'll be good for me. And in addition to that, he is a uh, one-star general, so that works in my favor. Um, 81 should be fine. I'll bring one of these guys over just for good measure. And let's see, how are we looking? That should be okay. In fact, um... I'll just bring these guys down here now to help bolster these forces and yeah these actually hmm I'm just gonna take this because there's only seven soldiers left in there so yeah no matter how weak this army is um, they, they should be able to take that so yeah they'll probably just retreat hopefully they just retreat yeah, these so the rebels and the Oda are just really been fighting each other really hard here because there's barely anything here in Mino, and uh, as I said before, this is ripe for the taking uh, right now. So I'm gonna do that. Um, probably gonna yeah, I'm just gonna keep this very low for now, and yes, I'm going to invade Issa with everything that I can spare. Um, so yeah, I'll leave him behind and I will take this whole army and then let's see, I still want, I can bring most of these guys. I will just leave these 16, 16 Odachi soldiers here, uh, bring the rest of them and yeah, just for good measure, just keep bringing more. Um. I'll leave these two battered units here. And there we go. So yeah, it's a, it's kind of a, like I, you know, as it has been this entire uh, campaign so far, it's pretty scrappy for us, but I think I should be able to take that. And let's see. Alright, so yeah, I can't spend any more money, of course, so I'm pretty much out for this turn, so I think everything should be fine. 97, 92 should be fine, uh, 81 should be fine. Alright, just triple check the taxes, there we go, and yeah, let's end this turn and fight this battle. Okay, so they did reinforce, um, hmm. yeah, they reinforced and uh, my army was looking pretty weak as it is, so I'm just going to call off this attack and that's okay, I didn't, I didn't have to uh, take this, so I'm going to call off that, but in this case I outnumber them 1,172 to 386, so this should go in my favor, but I still have to play this well because uh, if I don't, I could take a lot of losses.
Ooh, and it's foggy, of course. And, you know, I will take that fog. Um, maybe it'll help me avoid some of that archer fire. Alright, first battle of the episode. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? Probably we'll just go for a pretty basic line of spears and archers. Have them in hold formation. And then I will just do a very simple uh, flanking of Nodachi swordsmen on either side. I'll keep my cavalry together at least in the beginning. And then my daimyo will be in his own group. Alright, so I am pretty familiar with this Isa map. Um, I typically go over here and try to fight in this valley down over here. Uh, that's generally where they like to meet me, but since we're fighting in the fog now, um, no idea. <laughs> no idea how this is going to go. So I feel like I've fought in quite a few battles in the fog so far in this campaign. And um, it, it spooks the hell out of me for sure. But yeah, I'm just, I'm easily spooked. That's me. I'm not brave at all. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be really paranoid and take this very slow and just keep looking everywhere I can. The thing with the fog is that, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but... The thing with fighting in the fog is that the AI really does bumble around. I mean, the the game developers did a really good job of writing it as if the AI can't, you know, see through fog, like they have actual eyes. And I think that's really wonderful because if it was simply a disadvantage for the player, then there'd be no reason to play in the fo fog. Um, but since they have difficulties, you know, seeing and planning their own strategy, it can be advantageous to take these fights. Um, it just means that you have to be really vigilant about scouting and, you know, kind of being aware of what's going around you. So in this case, I see that they're there. I still try to, I kind of want to make it towards this hill, but because I still see them and they probably, I, they might have seen me, but I'm not positive. But what I want to do is I want to form up my line of archers and spearmen here on this hill and then I'll have my Nodachi these are going to be my real breadwinners for this battle or the Nodachi they're going to really help me hold and I just want to keep I'll just keep the horses back I don't need to get them involved just quite yet um, and Daimyo will be in the back and yeah, it looks like we're going to be taking this fight here. I don't want it to be in the woods, I'd rather it to be over here, but hopefully I can draw them out. So yeah, it is just mostly archer, yeah, it's just archers and warrior monks. Uh, looks like that's, yep, yeah, there he is, that's my guy. That's my guy. I think it's that 56 uh, man unit of archers, I think is that 4 star general. It's going to be hard to assassinate. I don't think I can get some cavalry in on him since he is just kind of camped in the woods. There's no way in hell I want to send my Yari Cav in there. These guys are just a uh, light scout cav. They're not, they're good for running down people that are running away from battle. And they do trade, um, they trade above their weight when they fight against other heavy cavalry. They won't win, but they, because they have spears, they will, you know, inflict a lot of casualties on cavalry. But when it comes to fighting infantry in the woods, that's not their game. Mm -mm, that's just not what you want to do with them. Alright, so this is okay, but I want my guys more over here. I don't really want to take this engagement in the forest. Just keep my daimyo with the rest of my men, and how are we looking here? So, yeah, just some dudes shooting at me, you know, no biggie. Um, 
Yeah, so I don't want to take this here. I don't want to take this engagement because I won't be able to shoot at them for very long. What I want to do is bring them out over here. So, let's see if I can angle my soldiers a little bit, like so. And try to bring them to me. So this is a little bit awkward for me because in typically in situations where um, the enemy has the you know archer advantage, you want to push on them. But in this case, I want to. Oh, there we go. Um, wasn't paying attention. Shoot them. Just train all my archers on these guys. Let's see if I can. Yeah. So just bring them up. How are we doing? Get them down. Get them down. Get them down. And there we go. I can just switch out my entire line and bring my spears to the front. And I will bring these Nodachi around to flank them. Looks like there's still some more warrior monks in the back that they're not bringing to the fight quite yet. And more archers, more archers, and let's see, so that should be fine. And yeah, they're still, they're still fighting, even though there's only four of them left. I mean, that's that's the power of a four-star general for you, coupled with warrior monks, of course. Warrior monks already have really good uh, morale, but coupled with a four-star general, holy moly, I mean, they turn into murder machines. I mean, they just last forever. Take, for example, that fight that I had on the bridge in Bichu province. Uh, they... So they were able to, I mean, I was able to beat them, but yeah, that's, they only had a uh, Zero Star General, so, you know, they didn't last that long. Alright, it's time to push up a little bit. Um, they're down to one Warrior Monk, if I'm correct. Which can still do a lot of damage, but right now, at this point, their archers are doing more damage to me to the, than the monks are, so... I have to put a little bit of pressure on them, and let's see if I can... I, so not really, like, I don't really want to bring my bring my uh, horses in but it's like nothing left let's see oh and the monks <laughs> there they are the monks got into my lines I didn't even see them so that's not good uh, let's see you gotta switch these guys around And yeah, even though they're outnumbered 12 to, you know, a thousand, they're still winning their engagements, technically. So, yeah, I'll have to do that, bring these guys over. And let's see, is it time? Can I start? So they're shooting at my horses, and even though I'm very wary of doing this, I just, at this point, they don't have anything, I don't think. I mean, an expert move, they probably will still lose the archers in the woods, but... If I can just kind of keep this pressure on them, and let's see, there we go, so that's good there. And let's, so the warrior monks are down for the count. And now, let's go help out our horses. I'll rush my daimyo into battle. It's time for him to help out. And, uh, yeah, if you look at the, uh, the kill bar, the kill ratio bar up in the top, I mean, they're definitely getting the better of me so far. Um, that's the power of archers and, and monks. <laughs> and, yeah, so they, they beat my unit of Yari Cavalry right there. They looks like they're gonna beat that unit of, uh, uh, Cavalry right there, too, so... And now my Daimyo is, um... All alone in battle, so... Oops, let's not do that. What do we got here? Oh, some archers here in the forests. I can just chase those like so. And let's see if I can rally my uh, rally my horses. Nope, looks like they're pretty keen on running away right now. Hey! 
So yeah, it should be, you know, it should be in the bag, right? Like, I have him on the run, it's just archers left. Um, all it takes is a few, you know, good breaks and, and their, in their favor for a lot of my army to run away. Especially because I have so many, uh, Yari Yashigaru. I have, what, four units of them? Yeah, so, that's a lot. That's a lot of Yari Yashigaru. Let's see, these guys are just gonna chase them until the end of time, looks like. And I can just keep moving my soldiers up. I have these guys chasing the general, so hopefully hopefully that'll be enough to eventually catch him and take him out. Um, this is where I probably should have kept my horses, just because uh, having that cavalry to close them in. I, I, and I used them too early in the battle, that's for sure. Um, I should have just waited for them to get support from the rest of the army and then uh, bring them in because now I'm just chasing until the end of time and yeah that can be a little tricky so just gotta, just gotta keep pushing forward I do still have my uh, general of course is on a horse so that's that's something And, yeah, let's speed up time a little bit. I can have my general come after his general, see if we can get him there, and... Let's see. How are these guys doing? They catch him? Yeah, it looks like they were able to catch him, so... I can bring these guys over there. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? What was that? And, okay, so these guys, okay. All right, so bring these guys over. Uh, they're about to be run down, and I can send my Damio over here to help out with this. And now we got him sandwiched just about. Just run them off until it should be the end of the battle. There we go. Alright, so yeah, pretty even as far as kills go. 372, 321, so yeah, not an easy battle by any means. I did um, I did use my, I committed my cavalry too soon, and that's a really common theme for me. That's something I have to get over. I have to just wait, you know, hold off on that. Um, that would have been a lot, the run down at the end would have been a lot easier. 120 uh, men of uh, cavalry is more than enough to make a rundown like that a lot easier than what it was. So, in any case, Isa Province is mine now. I still have a little garrison in the castles that I probably have to take care of. Probably wait them out. Uh, let's see. Mount Koku pillaged. And let's see. Or Takeda attacked Mino. And I was able to. Okay, so a ninja is coming in here, so I was able to kill him. And let's see, good harvest. Awesome. New treasury, 8,121. Good. Some good news. Hey. Um, so, just as I say that. Okay, so I'll have to deal with that. Um, I think that's about it for my time for this episode. Yeah, so that'll be that. I think I saw Lord Takeda attack Mino here, but he probably, it looks like I, I saw the message say that he retreated. Um, yeah, so there's still a chunky little force of Oda soldiers here, and my lines, I must say, are looking pretty, they're pretty thin. Uh, I took a lot of casualties in this battle in Issa, um, that shouldn't, you know, I should be able to take out this garrison, I'll just storm it, it's just 13 archers, and that god dang four-star general is still alive, he's still there, hanging on for dear life. 
Um, so yeah, I still have an upcoming uh, battle in the next episode against Lord Oda. Should be able to take out at least a couple of provinces of his. And it's still going to be scrappy. I mean, yes, I have a few troops here on my front lines, but I have a lot of soldiers here in my back lines that were helping uh, keep the public order down or, you know, fine for, throughout all of that ordeal. So a lot of these guys are going to be coming towards the front lines and going to be helping out. And uh, yeah, so yeah, next episode should be a fun one. Some more, a um, lot of action going on. And maybe, not not uh, promising anything, but maybe the downfall of Odo will be coming up pretty soon here. So I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, this has been Kind of Step. And this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much and goodbye.